ready for you today. Okay. Uh, this is a small little experiment that I did in the kitchen, a kitchen experiment, but uh, it is not as successful as it should be or it can be because I ran out of patience. Though I was very patient and I did it for a very long time, but I'll just explain why uh, it has not been as successful as it should be. Now, see, these are two blocks of uh, ice that I had frozen in the kitchen refrigerator, yeah. of course. And can you see the difference? Yeah, this one Between is like too uh, whitish and uh, so and it is this opaque. Is, yeah, this, this is, is opaque. This is trans. This this has a little bit of you can see that clear at the, at the edges. The boundaries are very yes. clear. At the edges, it is transparent. Yeah. Whereas at the center, it is not. It's not. Yeah. So there is also a science behind it. So now, first, you have to tell me why this one is totally opaque. Totally opaque. And this one is not too. How, what did I do? What is the difference? There is certainly some in component fact, just of see, water. Just see the transparent part. Even in the transparent part, you can see that some bubbles. there are some, there's some yes. bubbles. So that's, that's hint enough. Yeah, yeah I guess. Yes. Is it air trapped in it? it? It is, yes. I guess it's too many air bubbles trapped in this one and in this, somehow the edges don't have it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. The edges don't have it. Yeah. The edges don't have it. Hmm. So, in, this was normal tap water. Okay. Let me get. And in this one, I boiled the water. Oh. And, and in fact, I boiled it for pretty long. Okay. So long, in fact, that's where my patients ran out. And even then, I could see, you know, that it is still going on bubbling. Oh, While bubbles. I'm boiling it. The, yes. They were considerably reduced, but it was still there. Oh. So, which means, of course, that, you know, the air was not totally expelled from yeah. this. So, what if you want to have absolutely transparent eyes, then you have to get rid of this. All the air from all the, the water. But how all do you do the, that? At you home? go on boiling it. But then air will be evaporated much before you, you know, are able to expel all the air bubbles. So, you go on, uh, you know, using your fuel gas whatever, <laughs> with, or whatever it is that you are boiling. Okay. It will take a still longer time. So, a considerably long time it took to, you know, even expel this much yeah. that has been mm -hmm. expelled. Mm -hmm. So, it actually it shows how much air is actually Too many dissolved. Too of air dissolved, is there, yeah. Yeah. So, But that is the normal, that is the normal tap water that we have. Okay. That's like how we generally do it at home. Yes. So, this cloudiness is because of the air. Mm -hmm. Air in it. But ma'am, I wanted to ask, like, yes. if you see, it's yes. still very uh, cloudish in the center. Center, and central the part. Edges are still pretty clear. Pretty yes. The yeah. edges, it's it's transparent at the edges. Yes. And, and very cloudy. opaque at the center. Yes. yes. What, yeah. what difference? Like, how does that difference come? Like, why the edges are clearer than the so part? so that means you know that the air bubbles have all uh, gathered accumulated in. at the center. They have come towards the center. Do they all gather at the center? Yes, yes. So as we are freezing it, yeah. So what is happening is that at the edges it gets frozen first. Oh, at the boundary of the tray or container. Yes. So it is. That's how. It, that's how because it's cold outside, and that cold is you know slowly it is cooling this up. Yeah. yeah so obviously it will be cooling first the edges, and then the and then it part. is going. Towards. Oh, I get it. Now what is happening is that when these this portion is getting frozen, hmm. the air will not freeze. Hmm. Air can't get frozen. No, no, so no. the air is getting pushed towards, inside. towards the center. Okay. And it's now just trapped inside the central part. That's okay. Yes. okay. So if you want sparkling ice, transparent ice, then you have to get rid of all the air. But I've seen certain restaurants give yes. exactly clear absolutely. cubes absolutely. and that you never decorate. Absolutely, them. absolutely. But do so, they boil the water every day? No, they don't boil it. They have other means of yeah, expelling sure. the sure. yeah. air. Okay. And that's how you get it. So if you are going to buy ice cubes, mm. you'll get the sparkling ones. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So it's there, there and there. So, so there must be some other method. Yeah, so then it is there and there. Yes. Okay, okay. So the or maybe is... they boil it. It depends. I don't know how they do it. I don't know. Do they do it at such a large level? Maybe there is some more. We'll, have to, we find out. we'll have to find out. We'll have to find out. Find out.
In the manufacturing process, the cooling is not from all sides. The freezing process is unilateral or from one side. So as it is being cooled from one side, the air bubbles get pushed to the other edge. Say it is from the top. So from the top, the cooling starts and all the air bubbles are pushed downwards. So from top right to the downwards lowest layer, you get transparent ice and the air bubbles get trapped at the absolutely bottom most layer. So at that time when your the ice is being given out commercially that portion is eliminated and only the transparent portion is taken.